the amount of questions that I get regarding Parfum de Mali is insane. It, I would say it covers like three quarters of my DMs of what Parfum de Mali should I get? I like sweet fragrances. I like fresh fragrances. Which one do I get? Blah, blah, blah. Which one's the best for the fall and winter? Which one's the best for the summer? It's insane. So I, you know what? Like I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit down just like five minutes ago. I was like, and I'm going to do like a little Parfum de Mali for men buying guide. So I have no idea how this video is going to go, but you can trust me that I'm going to tell you guys and try and give you the best advice. That I know you will find a fragrance from Parfum de Mali that you love. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of the brand. You already know that. I truly, like truly, truly love the brand. I have spent my own money, like a lot of my own money, purchasing their fragrances and I have never ever ever which is super crazy but I've never had somebody come back to me and said Demi like I hate this fragrance why did you recommend it it's trash I've never had anybody say that to me so I'm not I'm not saying go out blind buy it right now but I'm just telling you guys I've literally never had somebody come back to me unhappy and said why did you recommend this it's absolutely garbage so basically what I'm going to do in this video I'm going to split the fragrances my favorite from Parfum de Mali which I left out two I left out Galloway because if I'm going to be totally honest, I loved it when I first got it and I wore it myself a lot, quite a lot to the gym as well. But now that I smell it, it's I'm not the biggest fan. So I left it out. And also Sedley because Sedley, I think, is be they're all beautifully made. The brand makes fantastic fragrances. They're consistent. They're incredible. Like the quality is there. Those are two fragrances I think you you don't need. So I've only got the best of the best right here and I've split them into two categories. So we have, because obviously fragrance is very personal. There's so many different things that you could kind of separate them into. Um, but for me to make it a little bit simpler for you guys, I've put them into like a sweet, intense, maybe like fall, winter, and then maybe some sort of like fresh, uh, summery like easy to wear sort of fragrance so those are my two like kind of categories I've split them into I will give like a description of each one and who I think will like it so let's start off with like the more fresher scents for me uh, the best like fresh fragrance from the house is Percival Percival from Parfum de Mali I don't need to say from Parfum de Mali because you already know um, to me this is for somebody who maybe like is just getting into fragrance. You're just getting into fragrance, but you want a high quality, very, very likable fragrance that's kind of fresh that you can wear on a date in the daytime, summer, autumn, winter, spring. You can wear it absolutely anywhere, anytime. This is the fragrance that I would recommend. I recommend this for all ages. I think it is appropriate for absolutely anyone, a college student, a teenager, I don't care. If you can spend the money, this is the fragrance that I recommend. So Percival, to me, it does smell. Personally, I love the way it smells, but it is more simple. So if you're really into like collecting fragrances, like into niche, you want like the best of the best of the best, and uh, you want something that's like super unique and different, I wouldn't go for Percival, but I'm telling this, I'm telling you guys, this is like the best fragrance that you can get if you want a versatile signature scent that works all year round in any situation, this is the one that I would go for. The newest, the newest fragrance is Calan, Calan, right here in the red bottle, sexy red bottle. Now for me, this is kind of leaning a little more fresh. The dry down becomes very woody, musky, sweet, um, but the opening, there's a beautiful blood orange note and i would say this definitely leans to the person who likes a little bit more of a fresh fragrance something woody a little bit masculine spicy this is this is the sort of fragrance i would say for sure i have to be honest calan smells so much better on the skin than what it does like on a little tester strip so if you're going to go and try this one spray it on your skin Spray it on your skin, walk around, let it dry down, have a little smell and see if you like it. There is like definitely a sweetness to the scent, but once it dries down, it becomes woody, a little bit spicy, sweet, musky. It's fantastic. So for me, I would say that this one is more of a fresher fragrance from the house. There's some in here that I would say are not fresh at all. So this one to me is a little bit fresher. Calan, fantastic. 
I think it's incredible. Shelby is obsessed with it. Like Shelby is in love with this scent. She keeps wearing it every single day and I recommend it a lot. I have two videos on Calan as well, so go check them out. Do you guys recognize this bottle? I don't know, do you recognize it? This is Leighton, the original Leighton for me. Every time I smell this fragrance, it, oh my God, like it makes me like weak, like weak at the knees, Leighton. I know I don't talk about it that much right now, but it's because I want to bring you guys like new options. If I just keep talking about this, I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to get bored, but this is fantastic. It is the perfect balance. The perfect balance between something that's sweet, creamy, fresh, aromatic, apple, vanilla, cardamom, lavender, woody in the base. It is just heavenly. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. It's heavenly. I would consider this uh, the original Leighton more of a fresh fragrance, but I don't think it would be like ideal in like humid, hot, disgusting, like Sahara desert sort of weather. I think it would be a little bit too polarizing, a little bit too, um, you know, strong. So keep that in mind. But for me, it still has a freshness to it. So definitely try it. It's to me, it, to me, it's like super, 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 super sexy. It's kind of like Percival where you could wear it anytime, anywhere, any situation. But I just think that in like a really humid setting, I think it would be a little bit too much. So keep that in mind. Uh, Leighton from Parfum de Mali. Okay, now this may be a surprise. If you watch my channel, um, you know that I have not really been the biggest fan of Pegasus, but it's growing on me so, so, so much. And I would say there's a definite freshness to Pegasus, which I really, really, really love. There is a almond note, vanilla. It's kind of got this metallic sort of vibe to it. If you don't know this, this is probably Shelby's favorite from Parfum de Mali. She loves Pegasus, uh, Calan, Leighton, and Carlisle. Those are her favorites of all time. She loves all of them. Shelby, I th I'm pretty sure that Pegasus is like her top, like top of the top of the top of the top. And I know that a lot of girls really, really, really are obsessed with this fragrance. So keep that in mind. For me, um, like I said, it's growing on me a lot. It smells much better on the skin than it does from just straight from the bottle because I get this metallic note, which there is a metallic note in here, but I would much rather smell this on somebody's skin rather than just from the bottle. So Pegasus for me, I still think will appeal to the people that like a fresher scent, maybe like a freshness with a little bit of a sweetness. I feel like Pegasus a hundred percent will suit you for sure. And for me, I think that you can wear this one kind of anytime, anywhere. And I'm going to like let you guys in. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say this, but there is, um, there is something coming. There is something coming called Pegasus Exclusive. So obviously, you know, Parfum de Mali have Leighton Exclusive. They're going to come out with a Pegasus Exclusive, I think the end of next year. And I'm not even exaggerating it is insane. The way that it smells is insane. It has like the DNA of Pegasus, but there's some, oh my God, insanely rich, decadent, incredible base to it. So that's all I'm gonna say. I, I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to say that and put this in my video, but I smelled it when I was in Cannes. I like it better than Pegasus personally. But like I said, a lot of girls love Pegasus. Let's go on to the more fall winter scents, my favorites. So let's start out with this bad boy. This is Ojan. Now I recommend this to men who want like a really true gourmand sort of scent. Ojan to me, I've said it many times, it smells like apple, cinnamon, pie, spicy, Cinnamon, honey, tonka bean. It's absolutely a fantastic scent, but I recommend it for somebody who's more into fragrances. This one I feel like would be a little polarizing, maybe for somebody who doesn't really have a lot of fragrances, who hasn't really smelled a lot of fragrances, I wouldn't recommend this one. But Ojan, I recommend to somebody who wants a sexy, sweet, 
uh, spicy gourmand. Like 100% this is the go-to. More intense, more sweet, um, delicious sort of fragrance. So, oh, Jean. Okay, now going on to probably like my top at the top of the top from Parfum de Mali. I have no idea why it's my top, but this fragrance drives me insane. Insane. I would not say that if I didn't mean it. I don't care if you guys don't buy this fragrance. I It doesn't bother me at all. But this fragrance right here, it does something to me and it's easily my like top of the top from Parfum de Mali. This is Herod. And to me, this is sweet, vanilla, cherry. There's like a cherry cough syrup sort of vibe, but don't let that put you off. Like you have to go and smell this and see what, what I mean when I say that. I don't even want to be so vulgar, but like it is sex in a bottle, this fragrance for me. Like totally, totally, totally. It is incredible. When I smell this on somebody, I don't know what to do. Herod for me is like 12 out of 10 killer, killer, especially for the fall and winter. Date night, fall and winter, you know, summer date night, just don't wear this in the summer daytime, like high heat, humidity, don't wear it because it's too much. But summer date night, little, little, like one, two sprays, fall, winter, oh my good God, it is incredible. It is incredible 12 out of 10. For me, this is like, yes, Harry. Okay, so next up, my baby. This is my baby. This is Carlisle. So funny story, like real quick, this video is already getting very long. I was talking to a subscriber through my DMs. I try to answer as many of you guys as I can. I honestly, because like I said, I am super appreciative of your support. So I want to answer you if you have a question. I try my best to get to get back to everyone. So I had a subscriber, he bought Herod, Carlisle and Leighton, I think, or Godolphin, I'm not too sure. And I said, curious, like which one is your favorite? And he goes, Carlisle, hands down, Carlisle. And I'm not surprised at all. For me, this is like a masterpiece fragrance. It smells so niche, so high quality, creamy, smooth, sweet, addictive sandalwood it smells to me and shelby we both agree this reminds us of like white chocolate like white chocolate decadent divine refined it's just insane so these if i'm going to be totally honest i have one more that i recommend for the fall and winter but if i recommended two these would be the two for the fall and winter carlisle i was like carlisle carlisle and herod so those are like my top picks for like the fall and winter. I think you cannot go wrong. They are incredible 10 out of 10 fragrances. Well, 12 out of 10. So Carlisle to me, I find this one a little bit more unisex rather than masculine because I like to wear this one myself. I find this one to be a little bit more in the, in the middle. So a little bit more unisex. So Carlisle, definitely check it out. It is insane how this smells like insane you will ask me all the time what are your top three picks for the fall and winter from parfum de mali and what i say latent exclusive carlisle herod not in that order but those are my top three picks latent exclusive it has the original latent dna the apple, the cardamom, the spice, the sexy, but it has this rich, decadent, insane base to it. Coffee, sandalwood, oud, woodiness. Like there is an insane like depth to the fragrance. So Layton for me is kind of like you can wear it all year round. Layton exclusive, no. Wear this in the cooler weather on a date night. It's way more decadent and intense and rich and luxurious. So keep, you know, one or two sprays for sure on this one. But very sexy, very, very, very sexy. Anything that has the original latent DNA, you're good to go. So latent exclusive, I definitely recommend it for somebody who likes more of the richer scents. I haven't talked about this in a little while. 
You guys, you guys, <laughs> if you like more intense fragrances, you have to like the note of leather. You have to like leather. For me, I think leather is a love or hate note. You either love it so much, you want to try every single leather fragrance that there is to the world, or you hate it. So you have to find out whether you like it or hate it because it's a very polarizing, uh, different, unique sort of note. Now, Godolphin, to me, so freaking sexy. It is so, so, so sexy. And I'm going to like let you guys in on like a little secret. There is a massive celebrity. He's a basketballer, like huge. I'm sure that every single guy that's watching this video would know of his name, would know who he is. And I'm not allowed to say because it's confidential, but he wears Godolphin. He wears Godolphin. It's his favorite fragrance ever. So I don't know. Like, I don't know. For me, that's like a massive like, Tick, tick, tick. Godolphin, if you don't know how it smells, it's sweet, leather, it's a little bit of like this, there's a saffron note in here, which you definitely get, but it is freaking <laughs> fantastic. Now, I do recommend this one maybe for like spring, autumn, winter, spring, autumn, winter. I don't recommend it for the summer. I think it would be a little bit too much, but spring, autumn, winter, go for it, go for it, wear it. But this is one that I would say you need to find out first whether you like the leather note in fragrance or not. Otherwise it may be too much for you. So that is my video, you guys. I hope that this kind of cleared things up a little bit for you all because I do get a lot of questions. Like I would not do this video unless I thought it was kind of like necessary, but like I get so many questions about what parfum de Mali to get, which one do I get, which one is better, this and that and this and that. So I am hope that this video will be kind of like a referral for you guys. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I know if you check them out, parfum de Mali, you will find a hundred percent you will find at least one, at least one fragrance from them that you fall head over heels in love with. I can guarantee that. So check them out for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.